Hello, welcome to day 12 of our Yoga to Support Losing Weight series. I hope you're well. Um, I think of you often. And uh, I had an interesting day yesterday. Uh, I, was, I had uh, sort of temptations or, or possible future temptations in my path. I went round my son's and had a cup of tea with him and he offered me a biscuit and I said, no, thank you. And then my best friend was coming round later in the afternoon and she doesn't know about this series, well she does now, but she didn't know about this series. And quite often when she comes round, she'll bring round something yummy and naughty to have with our tea and chat and catch up and stuff and heart to heart. And um, so I was thinking, what do I do if she comes round? I know her well enough that I can say, sorry, take them home with you or have yours and then take the other one home. Or I thought, hmm, will I just indulge and enjoy the treat with my friend? And um, so she came around and she had a bag and I thought, oh, she's got something really delicious in there. And she did, she did have something really delicious in there. She'd come straight from her allotment. She had a bag of tomatoes, a marrow, a courgette, runner beans, and glass jars for me to make my moisture cream in. So she came around with just an array of goodies for me but all of them really really good healthy ones and I was <laughs> it made me chuckle and I was so pleased and um, funnily enough earlier one of my private clients she gave me two cucumbers from her garden that's kind of like the world was giving me all this yummy delicious really healthy food and um, it just I found it ironic and uh, very pleasing so I was very very grateful for her gift of course and uh, I haven't had any yet but I will be later today I'll be sampling some of her goodies I put some of the runner beans a big big bag of runner beans I put some in the garden thinking maybe the deer will like those I don't know we'll find out so it was a interesting day it was a lovely day it was a good day it was a very busy day very productive day and uh, enough sprinkled in of you know seeing my son and my friend and uh, all those things mean that I work late in the evening but that's fine I don't mind and uh, it was a really good day really good day but it made me smile inside and chuckle a bit so I did think about practice today and I thought I've been working you really quite strongly and that's great and I thought you know I felt like this morning I thought you know I really feel like a really gentle stretchy practice just to sort of feel cozy and you'll see I've got my pink fluffy mat out rather than yoga mat um because I thought we'd do a nice stretchy class to just ease some of those muscles if they're aching from working and just to really feel nice and open and stretched so that's what we're going to do today I have a bolster next to me if you have a bolster please get it to hand if you don't have a bolster then some cushions or pillow or two would be absolutely fine. So if you want to pause the video and get something ready for that, that would be great. And then come and lay down on your back. We'll have a few moments in Shavasana, some gentle stretches, and then I shall bring you up to use the bolster. All right, so come and lay in Shavasana when you're ready. So letting your whole body sink and relax into your mat. Drawing your mind towards your breath. Keeping the breath smooth and relaxed throughout as much as you can. And I'd like you to hug your knees into your chest your hands around your knees and we'll circle them so nice big circles with the knees
and change direction of your circles. Giving your back a nice massage. And then stay at center. Each exhale, squeeze your knees in towards you. Inhale, release away a little. Stay squeezed in this time. Bring your knees apart towards your shoulders. Just relaxing here. And then place your feet to the ground. Legs to the ground, arms over your head, point your toes. Nice big stretch through your whole front body. And then push your heels away, keep stretching. And relax. We'll do just one core exercise so we don't completely uh, go to pot. So hands around your knees, knees to your chest. So we'll exhale as we squeeze in, inhale arms and right leg away. So arms over your head, right leg towards the ground. Exhale, bring it back, squeeze with both hands. Inhale arms and left leg away. Exhale, bring it back and squeeze. Inhale arms and right leg. So continue like this, alternating the legs with your breath. Or if your core is strong enough to today, then both legs and arms together. So do what feels right for you. Nothing must hurt in your back. This is all about working the core. Keep your knees squeezed in this time, hug them in close, relaxing through your back and anywhere else you're feeling restriction. And then we'll come up to sit. All right, so I want you to sit with your bolster behind you. So you're going to sit cross-legged. You're going to sit like this with the bolster coming close up to your lower back. Straight back. And then we're going to lay on the bolster. So the bolster will be supporting our spine. You can lean onto your hands, lean into your elbows. Make sure your head is supported. You might want another cushion under your head here, or if you're considerably taller than me, you might need a couple of cushions at the end so your head's not hanging. So make sure your head is nice and comfortable. And then we'll bring our arms out to shoulder height. Just let the body settle here. So really feel the breath through your body. So as you inhale, breathe first down to your belly, then your lower chest where your ribs expand, upper chest, and then exhale from your upper chest, lower chest, belly. Inhale to your belly, lower chest, upper chest. Exhale, upper chest, lower chest, belly. Keeping this nice, smooth, rhythmic breath. Let your shoulders really drop, face soft. So allowing the gentle stretches to happen while you're supported and relaxed. Feel your hips softening, letting your knees drop down. If you want cushions under your thighs to support your hips and knees here, please do make it really comfortable. And 
lift your knees up, swap which way around you have your feet crossed and gently let your knees come back down, settling into this position. and then bring your arms over your head. Let them settle here. If your hands don't reach the ground or if it feels too pinchy in your shoulders, which it may well do, you've got options. You can either put some cushions underneath your hands so you're resting your hands on your cushions, or you could bend your elbows, catch hold of your opposite wrists or forearms or elbows to find a place that's a comfortable stretch for you. If it's too pinchy, you're not going to be able to relax. And of course, it's all about the relaxing. So find your position and then soften here. Just letting go. And then we're going to lift the arms up to the sky and bring them alongside us. And then we're going to circle the arms. So inhale, take them wide over your head. Exhale, bring them up and alongside you. Inhale, glide them along your carpet or floor up over your head. Exhale, up and over. And repeating with your breath. And then we'll change direction of the circles. Still moving with your breath. And leave your arms out at shoulder height this time. Just let your body settle here. Shoulders soft. And we'll ease out. So lift your knees up. Let your hips settle. Nothing's rushed. And then coming up to kneel. Alright, so kneeling, lifting through the spine, have your bolster to hand. I've got extra cushions here in case that's what you need. So we're going to flex the spine, inhale as we lift through the front body, shoulders down. Exhale, rounding the spine, draw the belly in. Inhale as you lift and open. Exhale, round. Nice and smooth. And we'll stay at centre. So I want you to bring your knees slightly apart, keeping your feet together, toes together, and then bring your bolster between your knees. And then if it's comfortable for you, if you reach here, then let your upper body rest and settle onto your bolster. If you need more cushions, please do. So pile them up as high as you need so you can comfortably relax here. So wherever you find yourself comfortable, that's your place for today. Rest either cheek to your cushions, shoulders soft, just letting go.
So feel nicely supported, breathing into the whole body. Feel your back expanding as you inhale and releasing as you exhale. Gently lift your upper body, easing up. Move your cushions to one side if you're using cushions. And then just slide your bolster or cushions forward. Bring your knees together and we'll flex the spine again. So inhale as you lift your chest, exhale as you round. and stay at centre. Now I want you to turn sideways. So you've now got your right hip facing your bolster, but I want you to drop your bottom down so you're now sitting on your mat and then tuck the bolster in close to your hip. Turn your body so you're now facing the bolster as much as you can. If you want more cushions, of course, that's fine and then let your upper body relax downwards. So we're looking to bring the front body onto the bolster. We're coming into a supported twist. And then if it's comfortable for you, turn so you've got your left cheek on your bolster. If that feels too far, then keep the right cheek to the bolster. So whatever feels better for you. Wherever you are, nice and relaxed. Feel each exhale a lovely sense of release and letting go. And gently lift your upper body, easing back up. Move your bolster forward, turn to face forward, coming back to kneeling, hands to your thighs and flexing your spine again. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale round. And relax. And then we'll bring the knees apart again. Slide your bolster between your knees and let your upper body ease down. Take your time, use extra cushions if you wish, of course. And then rest either cheek to your bolster or cushions and let go. Letting your mind follow each breath. Feel that gentle movement in your body as you breathe.
can gently lift your upper body, easing up. Move your bolster forward, bring your knees together and flexing the spine with the breath. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, round. And stay at center. So now I want you to turn sideways. So your left hip is facing the bolster and then drop your bottom down. So your bottom's on the ground and then draw the bolster close in towards your left hip. And I'd like you to turn your upper body so you're facing the bolster. And then we want to place the front body onto the bolster. So easing forward, find your comfortable place. Do use more cushions if you need more cushions. Let your upper body relax downward. If it's comfortable for you, I want you to turn your head so your right cheek is to your bolster. If that feels too intense, then have your left cheek to your bolster. So either way, letting your body settle and relax. Wherever you're feeling the stretch, feel that place softening with each exhale. And gently lift your upper body, easing up. Turn to face forward. Bring your knees together. Hands to your thighs and flexing your spine. Inhale as you lift your chest. Exhale as you round. and stay at center. Bring your knees apart, draw the bolster in, use extra cushions if you wish, and then let your upper body ease back down. Nice and relaxed, everything softening and letting go, either cheek to your bolster,
gently lift your upper body, easing up. Good, move your bolster to one side. Bring your knees back together or flex the spine again. Inhale as you lift your chest, exhale as you round. Good, and then come to sit. Legs stretch forward. And we'll relax through the hamstrings. So inhale, stretch your arms to the sky. Exhale, reach forward to wherever you reach. Let your head drop. Now you could put your bolster back here so you can rest your upper body on your bolsters, pile up the cushions if you wish. Everything relaxed. Inhale, stretch your arms to the sky, reach up. Exhale, arms wide and down. Lovely, well done. So now come and settle in Shavasana, relaxation pose. Let your whole body sink and relax into the surface beneath you. A lovely sense of letting go. Feel your shoulders dropping downward. Your head sinking into the ground beneath you. Face soft.
stay longer if you wish or if you're ready to come out start to gently rock your head let your breath deepen Wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch your arms and legs. Big, big stretch. And relax. Hug your knees to your chest. Hands around as you rock, making those lovely circles. And change direction. And then roll onto your side and come up to sit. Lovely, well done. I hope you enjoyed that gentler practice. I suspect tomorrow we'll be working strongly again. We'll see. Have a lovely day. Look forward to our next session together. Namaste.